Y'all, <laughs> I need to figure out how to, I should have just paused it. I started my video, and I, I mean, I didn't get halfway through, but I got through about five items, and now the phone rang, and I tried to pause it, and I stopped it. And I don't know how to audit, or audit, I don't know how to edit and connect them and continue. So now I'm starting all over again. This is, <laughs> this is my uh, Poshmark haul that I did for Goodwill. Goodwill is having a $2 sale. Um, start, it, what they're doing out here in California is they're doing a $2 sale that starts on Friday to Saturday. And what that is, it's two, instead of the 50% off the color tag, it's two dollars on a specific color tag. So um, yesterday I went. Um, I, want, I should have went Friday because I feel like everything was picked over. But um, yesterday I went and everything that was everything in the store, shoes, home goods, anything, anything that had a pink tag was fifty percent off. Clothing, everything. So of course I go in there and lo and behold, first item I find are torrid shoes. I love it when I walk in there and look on the shelf and bam, Torrid. I love Torrid shoes. Um, these aren't real leather, but um, they are still um, highly sought out because, you know, there are a lot of people with big feet. You know, I have a size 9. Um, I know I can't wear, I'm a big girl, but I have a size 9. When I lose weight, I get down to an 8.5, but... Um, I can't wear wide shoes either. Some wides I can, but like Torrid, Lane Bryant, Avenue, their wide shoes are too wide. But um, there's a lot of people out there with big feet and wide feet that want to have nice looking shoes. And I'm glad I to bring those to my Poshmark closet because I have a lot of Torrid sandals on there. And believe me, I tried to try these on. These are really cute. And... Um, I looked at the bottom there, they're 11 and a half, so I can't get into them, but these are beautiful shoes. You can have big feet and have beautiful shoes. I don't care what anybody says, because that's I try to buy, whenever I go in there and see nice toward shoes, I try to snag them up, you know. Look at that, $2. They had the pink tag on it, $2. They zip in the back, very nice ones. They had a very cute other pair that I was gonna get, but the zippers were hard to come up, so I had to leave it behind. But they were, oh, I can't even describe them. They were really, really cute shoes. But anyway, so I got these for $2, and I saw some comps online um, for some silver ones, and the silver ones were going for $35. I'll probably post these for $30. Um, when you posh on Poshmark, you have to take into consideration that there are fees and there are shipping that they're going to take off of that, you know. Well, the customer pays for shipping, but when you do, when I post things, I would say about 80% of my items, I'm going to um, do offers for likers. Anybody that likes my item, I'm going to immediately send them an offer to liker. And so I price my things accordingly, where, because when, <coughs> excuse me, accordingly, because when you do do an offers to likers, one, you have to offer them at least 10% off. It goes 10, 20, and 30. I'll do 10. Because in addition, you have to either offer them partial, um, a partial discount on the shipping, or you can pay all the shipping. I do the partial. So I try to um, post my things for a price where I could make at least double and a half of what I paid for my item. So... Or more. So um, there are times where I would go, um, in the beginning, I wasn't buying anything on sale. I would go and buy a shirt for like $4, $5, and then post it. And I realize after shipping and all that stuff, because they have a calculator, you don't have to immediately put it in, but they have a calculator in there that tells you how much you'll make off of it. So this one particular shirt I would only be making a dollar off of, which is not worth it to me. You have to consider packaging, going to the post office, printing out your labels with your ink and your paper and all that stuff. And really, you're not making a profit. It's not worth it to even do it. And people don't understand, oh, your stuff is so high. Well, if I'm not making a profit, baby, what's the point? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, yeah. So I try to 
I try to post my items accordingly so that I'm making something off of it. You know, I'm making a good profit on it. If it's a profit that's not worth it, then I'm not going to do it. So what I've done is there are certain items that I posted and I want to start bundling them. Say, for instance, I have these shirts that are by um, Lush. Really cute spaghetti, you know, tank. Cute, you know, nice tanks that I have. And I posted them for 14 Well, those are going to end up costing... I'm probably going to make mm, maybe five bucks off of them. So what I plan to do is they're 14 each. What I'm going to do is bundle them and probably do a bundle for about $22, $20, And then that way at least I'll make maybe $7, $8, something like that. But, you know, I'm just trying to um, bundle things just to be able to make a fair amount of profit. So... Anyway, I'm going to get into the haul real quick again. So this is by American Eagle Outfitters, and it's in a size 12. This is a tribal print, cute cotton dress, and the back is kind of like a crisscross deal. Very cute dress, and it is in a size 12. If I didn't already tell you, I think I did tell you. But isn't that cute? Very cute for the summer. I don't know if tribal prints are still out. Um... I don't know, I just thought this was really cute. <laughs> so I got it. And also, you know, I noticed people are doing a lot of um, video game shirts like Atari. And I did the comps on these, and they're about 25, 20, 25 bucks. I think this would probably go for the 25 because mine is pretty. The other ones just have this Atari symbol and in white, and it's just in the middle, and they're wanting 25 for it. So, um,. I need to look at what's selling, the price that it's selling, not just posting. So, but I think I'm going to probably end up um, posting this for um, 25 as well, just to see what happens. And look, um, Asteroids. Remember we used to play Asteroids? I used to be in the arcade all the time playing this and Tempest. And oh my gosh, this is so cool. I love this. If this was in my size, <laughs> if this was in my size, I would have wore this, you know. But anyway, there are people that are after shirts like that, you know. This I thought was really cute, but the comps weren't really high on this. But I love the style of this dress. It is in focus studio. It's a size 8 dress. Look at the collars on that. Look at that. I like the pleating in the middle. First I thought it was a maternity. It's not. And then look at the pockets, you guys. Isn't that cute? It's a close-up of the material. It's like a black and white. Very cute, stretchy, really nice, thick fabric, and then cute little buttons on the back. And I love the sleeves on this, too. Again, it's in a size 8. Very cute dress. So I like that. That was a $2 dress. And when they have those $2 sales, that's a perfect opportunity to hit up on those dresses. Because those dresses, again, are in the last video, I think I mentioned it. I'm mentioning it again. The dresses are $8.49 here in the LA, uh, LA uh, Los Angeles area Goodwills. And so when they go on sale for the $2, you know, deals now, I'm going straight to the dresses. <laughs> and also my sister found this for me. Now comps for this on eBay were like 50 something dollars. And this is a Disney um, vintage from the 90s uh, denim shirt, long sleeve shirt with the poo characters on the back. This is so cool. Very nice quality. Nice thick material. Denim shirt. I would have surely kept this. I am a Disney pass holder and we go all the time and we like to wear Disney attire and I would have loved to have something like this. You know, even with like a Disney shirt tank under it and then wear this over like a jacket. But yeah, it's by Disney. It's from the Disney store. And unfortunately, the tag is kind of all faded out. So now what I have to do is go find the comps and take measurements on all this and compare it to measurements that somebody else has online to determine what size it is. I think it's a large because when I put it on, the way it fit or the way it couldn't fit, <laughs> it was it, it was probably going to be a large. But um, yeah, this is really cute. Either large or extra large. I know I'm a 2-3X two, two, because... From here, my back from there to there, I'm a wide one. <laughs> I don't have much of a stomach, but I'm wide. That sucks. It messes me up. <laughs> but
But, um, yeah, it's really cute. It doesn't have any embroidery on the front, though, but it does have a pocket right there, and it's long sleeve. And like I said, it's a nice, thick, sturdy denim material. And, again, it's so cute. It's a 90, 90s vintage Disney shirt. Very cute. Very cute. Love that. Um, and then I found this Ann Taylor size 8P, 8 uh, petite um, dress. And look at that. Isn't that cute? Look at the cut on that. I love this so much. Oh, I wish I was small. So adorable. It's like a tie-dye print kind of. And um, it's lined with polyester. Let's see. It has a polyester lining. Very cute, very cute dress. And it says, Ann Taylor established 1954 petites. Yeah, so this is really cute. And it has a tie. I didn't untie it yet, but I'm sure it, you know, it ties around to the front. And so it should have a bow in the front. Or you could just tie it in the back, do a bow in the back. But so cute, you guys. I love this dress. And next thing... <laughs> Next thing on the line of t-shirts, my sister picked this out, and so I did do comps on this, and this sent, tends to sell, um, eh, not too high, but I think it was like 20 bucks that these were going for, but it's a, what's his name, Bob, Bob Ross, and I can remember watching this guy on the weird channels on TV painting, and I always remembered how he didn't talk that loud. He was just really calming and he would paint and he would just, you know, I was just like, and I watch him and I just fall asleep. <laughs> but I loved his painting because then he'll do some splotches and all of a sudden he'll do one more splotch and you're like, oh, that's a bird. <laughs> but yeah, so I found one of his shirts. And so yeah, the, this very same shirt was comping for, um, I think 20 bucks on, you know, and I, Paid two t-shirts for two ninety nine. So if I can make you know post it for twenty and probably end up getting eleven dollars, that'll work. But yeah, I thought these are really cute. And next, I found a really nice flowy size eighteen Lane Bryant tank. Um, I don't know what this is made of. I like the feel of this fabric. It's very pretty. And it's just a plain white, beautiful tank. Forgot to look for underarm pit dirt. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wash this. I see a little bit of staining on the inside, so I do need to wash it. But I, other than that, it's just really pretty. Very pretty shirt. Love it. And this one, I think this one was for. Or something. Yeah, there's a little bit of staining on this. I don't know why. When you're in the store, you can't really see too much of the staining. But then you get in the sunlight, like now, and I'm like, oh, I could see a little bit of staining around this V. And then the inside of this one by the armpit, I don't know why. Here, that's a weird spot. But there's a little, you can't see it on there. It's very faint, but I can see it. So I have to soak this in OxyClean and see, see if I get the staining out of that. The next one, surprisingly, the next item, this is so cute, and it's made out of like an upholstery material, very well made, but the comps were not, I found the exact same one on um, Poshmark, and it was only posted for 10 bucks. Um, I don't know what that was all about. This is beautiful. It's like a tapestry kind of feel. And um, and it's by Fashion Union. And I don't know what the original price on this is. It has a zip all the way down the back. It is a size extra large. And it's so cute. I mean, like this with a cute high-waisted skirt, black skirt, or like a, you know, high-waisted jeans. Or, you know, you can, it's endless. <laughs> you can put this with a lot of stuff. But I just thought that was so cute. And well made. It's just real sturdy, and you know, just, and it was only posted for ten dollars. I didn't understand that. I did not understand. It's soft inside, you know. It zips all the way down to where it opens like that in the back, you know. 
I just I don't understand why it's only uh, posted for ten bucks. But you know what? Hey, I'm still going to my back stitching. I'm still gonna post it for twenty and see what happens. Um, we'll see. I don't know. Going into the spring, it's not too promising, but it just might be something that's just gonna sit in my closet. You know, until the seasons change. It is a nice fall looking shirt, but it's so cute. Oh my gosh, I just thought this was so gorgeous. And um, this one, did I get this for two bucks? I don't remember. I want to say this was a two dollar shirt. Most of my stuff was two dollars. Then the next shirt that I found is by Bar. The this has high comps. I don't know what fashion or what who this is. I mean, of course it's bar. Original price on this was forty two dollars. Um, on the comps that I was looking at, they were going for I think twenty twenty five. But the pants and the other items were going for way more. But it just says let's say grass grit, grass grit I think. And it's by Bar, brand called Bar. And I have heard someone mention this on um, on their YouTube channel, on their you know about their Poshmark, putting something like this on their Poshmark. So anyway, we'll put it on there and see how it does. And this one I found really cute. Um, again, Free Kisses didn't have a lot of high comps on it. Um, I didn't find this particular shirt though. But I got this strictly by style, and because it was a uh, 2X, and again, you know, larger sizes are highly sought out. So um, and it's really nice. The lace is in really good condition. That's the first thing I try to check when I look at these things. It's ruching on the side, very cute, and their wings, you know, and it's again, it'll be cute with some jeans, you know, denim jeans, jean shorts. And it is lace all on the back side of the tank. Very cute tank top. And again, it's a 2X. Very cute. And this, I have a couple of shirts. You know what? Matter of fact, yes, I do have a Everly shirt. I believe Ever no, Everly I don't think is um, anthropology, but they make really cute shirts. And I liked all of the, the coloring in this shirt. Um... It's just real pretty and summery looking when I saw it. I was like, oh, yeah, I got to get that. And, again, this is by Everly. And the size on this is... It is a size medium. But it's a pretty big medium. You know, it's a nice size. Very pretty. Um, the material on this feels like it's polyester. Um, yeah, 100% polyester. Very nice blouse, very nice for the summer, nice and airy. And this is what I was talking about. I have two blouses similar to this that I posted for 14 bucks, and I'm going to figure out how to uh, group or uh, bundle them into one bundle for $20, $22. But this one, this one in particular, the Everly, these have a little bit better comps, um, so I'll probably post this one. Um, I don't know, maybe 20 on this one. <clears throat> And this is kind of random, but I love this bag when I saw it. This is by Route 66, but I just thought it was cute. I'm such a bag lady. I love bags. <laughs> but when I saw it, I was like, oh, I want that. It's gray with a bunch of stars, whirly stars all over it. And that's the back. And it has a zipper top. And the rest of it's all gray. And the zipper top. Only problem with this is there's no zipper pull, but I can always put anything on there to be a zipper pull. But there's a pocket here, and again, it's Route 66. Very cute. This is nice for travel, too. And then inside there is two little pockets for your phone or your keys or whatever. But I thought this was really cute when I went in there. So they had some cute backpacks like these and this. You know, two backpacks. And when I saw this one, it's just I like this because it has nice thick straps and you know, like for a, a sleepover, you know, a local trip, and <laughs> you know, if I'm going somewhere, staying overnight, a couple nights, whatever. But I really like that bag. And this is another one where <laughs> I don't know why people, well, I do. I get it. This is an Under Armour tank shirt. So the tank is built in and it's attached to the shirt so that. You know, people wear the tanks and they put a shirt over it. 
Okay, so it's Under Armour. It's padded. It has a padded little thing inside of there. But they always cut the sizes out. <laughs> so when I saw it in the store, it was just like, oh, it's a little probably, you know, I ain't going to my glasses on. I was like, oh, that probably says Under Armour. But it ain't. It don't say nothing. It looks like they cut off the tags for the size. So once again, I got to figure out what size it is. It looks to be probably an extra large, but um, I'll have to go in there and do comps on this. I know I've seen people haul these with the tanks that are connected to the um, bra, the workout bra. But um, yeah. Oh, and it has a drawstring on the bottom, which is really cute. I don't know why they tied it here because it has this thing here. But really nice, really, really nice, but there's just no tag on it. There's no tag, there's no washing instructions or anything inside. So, yeah, I have to find a comp and compare it to something else and do some measurements on it and see what their measurements are to find out what size it is. But again, it looks like it would probably like extra large. So, we'll look that up. And two more things, you guys. Three more, because I got another random item right here. This is by, this is very pretty, love this top. Um, let me see. Okay, so there's the back. It has a little tie peekaboo back thingy going on. I love the mauve color against the black, and the black and white flowers. I just think that's so pretty with some cute black jeans. I just think that's so cute. This is by a brand called Melody. It has a tag on here that looks like it's from uh, Anthropology, but I looked it up and I don't, I didn't see Anthropology. I don't. It could be because I, I have a long list of makers through Anthropology. I there's so many, <laughs> but this is by Melody and it is an extra large. And I mean, again, it's really pretty. I love the colors. The you know really soft pink, mauvey looking pink. Um, or what they call flesh color with the black and white flowers on it. I just think that's so pretty. And then again, the back is so nice. Love that and a little tie in the back. So that's pretty. This is perfect for the summer. And then I found, now this was a shirt that I found in the morning at a different Goodwill. You know what? I, I went to two Goodwills, the shoes and this, this top was at, one Goodwill, and then I found the other stuff at a different one that um, last night. This is by Chloe, and it is in size medium. And again, I think that's so pretty. You know, the ruffles on the bottom, or I don't know if they want to call that a peplum bottom, or I think peplum bottom is well, I don't know. It could be, but isn't that cute? So cute. You can either wear a band. It's see through, so you can wear like a bandeau or um, tank top or whatever under it but it's so pretty the colors are beautiful it's like a water color looking print so pretty and it's just a top this look cute with some white linen pants or some white jeans so pretty so I got that comps weren't too high on that again um, like I said I got that strictly because of style not the name or anything like that but it's a really pretty top. And then, oh, I lied. There's two more. This one was kind of like the other mauve top, but this one has embroidery around the collar. And it goes all the way through to the back. And it's a very long blouse with the two sides hanging. I don't know what they call that. I gotta look that up. But this is by Spence Women and it's a 2X. Very pretty. Um, the lace is in perfect condition. Nothing's pulled out. Nothing is, uh, you know, crazy looking. <laughs> but only problem with this, and I do have a tied eraser thingy. Only problem with this is there was a mark on it, which I, when I looked at it, I was like, well, I can probably get that out, but it's just one little mark here. Not sure what that is. I'm going to try to wash it out by hand. Oh, I'm going to start to put, try to put the little, um, tied eraser thing on it. And then I'm going to try to put it in, um, you know, hand wash it and see if I can get that out. 
but it kind of looked just like a surface mark. So we'll try to get that out. But this is beautiful. I think it's really nice. Very nice for the summer. And so, yeah, got that. That was a $2 top. And um, last, last, you guys, I got, again, Winnie the Pooh. My sister picked it out. And this is a skirt. It's a skirt. It's a size medium, adult medium. And, um, oh, my God, it's so cute. The embroidery is so nice. This is all embroidery. All embroidery. Very pretty. Very good condition. And it's poo. And, again, you know, this is the type of thing you wear to Disneyland. <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, it's Disney. It's a Disney, not a Disney store, but. So, no, this is Disney catalog. This is from the Disney catalog. And um, I couldn't find any comps on this, but I, I'm still digging through. And I mean, I'm sure it'll probably be the same as a shirt. Um, it is vintage, I believe. And it's 100% cotton. It's a size medium. And it is an official Disney item. And so, yeah, this is really cute. I like how the little buttons say Disney on them. <laughs> and there's two pockets in the back. And the hammer holder. <laughs> I always call it the hammer holder. But, yeah, these are really cute. Really cute. God, I wish I could get into something like this. Disneyland. Yeah, so that is it. Oh, and I got one more thing. One more thing for y'all. And I bought this. I thought this was so cool. You could tell somebody used this on their desk or whatever to put pins in. But I got it because I want to put a succulent, not a real succulent, a fake succulent in there. Because if I put a real one in there, it'll ruin the wood. <laughs> so, yeah, I want to put a succulent in here. And I thought it was real cute. It has little metal corners on it. And this was only $2. So I got that. I put some coins in it. Oh, and it's got the little felt things on them. I gotta renew them, put some new ones on there, cause one is missing, so it doesn't scratch up your your desk. But I thought that was cute. So I'll put a nice little succulent in there, and that's it, you guys. I'm done. <laughs> it's almost 30 minutes. I hate doing long videos, but anyway, um, you guys, thank you for joining me. I'm gonna try to get to Dollar Tree today. I spent a lot of money last night on this stuff, but. I'm going to try to get to Dollar Tree um, and see what's new there. I might hit up one Goodwill <laughs> just to get a few things, I promise. But, um, yeah, and i got to get to posting some of this stuff and steaming it and, um, you know, get uh, getting a lot of this stuff online and posted. But, anyway, thank you for joining me, you guys. I'm so happy we are off. Tomorrow is a holiday for us, so I am off Monday. Um, so I might get a video up tomorrow. I might. But, um, it's a beautiful day. Lots to do. I gotta wash my hair. Like I said, I gotta clean the stuff, steam it, post it. <laughs> um, and, uh, gotta figure out my printer still. I'm tired of going to Staples to go do my, print my labels. But anyway, you guys, have a wonderful day. And hopefully I'll talk to you tomorrow. And... Uh, happy thrifting if you are a fellow thrifter out there and happy poshing if you're a fellow posher <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up you guys have a wonderful Sunday. Bye